Number 16, 1974, the Lincoln Sentinel 67 plus red condition. According to PCGS, the 1974 D Lincoln Sent is very common. The means struck over 4.2 billion examples that every Lincoln Sent collector can own many of them. In circulated grades up to MS66, they are common. In MS67, they are much scarcer overall. In MS68 or higher, they are considered rare. This MS67 Plus gem was sold for $1125.01 with buyer's fee. Number 15, this is 1970, known as Roswell Diamond PR69 Cameo Condition. Amazing cameo surfaces are mainly untoned and well impressed. Experts seem to think that only about 2200 dimes were struck without S mint mark. This was due to the fact that one die was prepared at Philadelphia and sent to San Francisco to be used. Apparently, the quantity mentioned above was released before the mistake was found and corrected, giving a collector a great error to acquire. This elusive dime ended up selling for $1980. Number 14, here is 1993 Memorial Penny in MS68 plus red condition. A 1993 Lincoln Memorial Cent graded as MS68 plus red is indeed a high quality coin. A coin graded as MS68 plus red is in exceptional condition, nearly free of any noticeable imperfections. Such high grade coins are relatively rare because they have survived in an uncirculated state, preserving their original mint luster and surface quality. This scarce specimen was sold for $1184.62 with buyer's fee. Number 13, this is 1951 the Roswell Diamond MS68 condition, sandy silver patina to most areas, the obverse periphery was hail of more vivid olive orange iridescence, enhancing the coin's appearance. There is not even a single noticeable abrasion, as one should demand at uppermost reach of the mean state grading scale. It was sold for $2185. Number 12, a 1969 Lincoln Cent, but just an ordinary superb gem example with no doubling elements on obverse, graded in mean state 67 by PCGS, surfaces are free from blemishes or toning. Only large distraction is the slanting mark on the head of the president. This penny displays vibrant mint luster, and eye appeal is very pleasing. It was sold for $3,000.38 with buyer's fee. Number 11. 1942 Washington Quarter in PR68 condition. This is an exceptional example of the proof 1942 Washington Quarter. Both sides with crescents of intense multicolored iridescent patina around the peripheries. Otherwise lightly toned in pale silver, the surfaces are uniformly mirrored in finish with a virtually pristine appearance. Impressive condition rarity from a mintage of 21,123 coins. This example was sold for $4,800. Number 10, this is 1965 Lincoln Cent in MS67 Plus red condition. The 1965p Lincoln Cent is very common, especially since over 1.49 billion examples were struck. Only in MS66 condition is it somewhat scarce, yet still thousands of MS66 examples should still be out there. Keep an eye out for high-end MS66 examples, since those are very scarce according to PCGS, especially since examples in MS67 condition are very difficult to find and truly scarce, despite having a very large mintage. This elusive specimen was sold for $4,050 with buyer's fee. Number 9, this is 1952 S. Roosevelt time in MS69 condition. Best in a vivid mint set toning, both sides exhibit rich crimson copper and orange russet peripheral colors around the lighter, old silver centers. All areas are equally smooth with not even a single trivial blemish as in evidence. It was sold for $5,750. Number 8, 1919D Mercury Diamond MS64 Plus condition with full bands. 
colorful iridescence cradles the borders of this impressive near gem. The luster is overall satiny and entirely unbroken by friction or blemishes of consequence. A full strike is apparent to all devices with intricacies sharp for even the most stubborn regions. The obverse is host to a number of die cracks concentrated on lower peripheries with a bisecting crack that extends from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock border, a George's representative of this desirable strike and condition rarity. It was sold for $6,462.50. Number 7, 1959D Washington Quarter with Multicolored Toning Graded in mid state 67 plus by PCGS and proven by CEC. Exceptionally vivid multicolor toning enhances virtually pristine surfaces on both sides of this captivating superb gem. Like its identically dated Philadelphia mint counterparts, the 1959D is surprisingly scarce in the finest mint state grades. For a late date, 90% Washington quarter was mintage of 62 million, 54,232 coins. This highly soft after gem was sold for $9,600. Number 6, 1943 Delinquent Cent in number 67 condition. This is an elusive wartime penny with repunched mint mark on a worse. Pristine looking surfaces are satin in texture and virtually perfect in every way. An intriguing coin, although the repunched D is obvious and noted. It was sold for $10,200. Number 5, 1937 Double Diverse Washington Quarter, graded in mint state 66 by PCGS, a stellar example of this rare and desirable Double Diverse variety, with satiny luster basing the fields and devices toned with a hint of yellow haze. Examination of the surfaces will find a little evidence of contact, and this would be a great coin, where it simply is a usual obverse die, but this is a dramatically doubled obverse. Not a doubling on the motto and the date, which is clear with a magnifier. It was sold for $17,825. Number 4. This is 1995 Lincoln Sentinel 69 red condition. Extraordinary specimen with immaculate surface preservation, luster, and eye appeal. A 1995 Lincoln Cent graded as MS69 is a high-grade coin that's almost perfect in terms of condition. However, whether it's considered rare and valuable depends on a few factors. An MS69 grade indicates that the coin is virtually flawless under close examination but falls just short of the highest grade, MS70. Coins graded as MS69 are highly sought after by collectors due to their excellent condition but they are not extremely rare. Nevertheless, this specimen was sold for $19,202.62 with buyer's fee. Number 3. Here is 1910 Lincoln Cent in MS67 red condition. This beautiful coin offers the technical quality and the eye appeals that Lincoln Cent collectors would want all of their coins to possess, but few of which actually do. Frosty surfaces are as bright and fresh as the day the coin emerged from the dice. The color is original and highly attractive. Both sides feature a blend of salmon pink, golden rose and medium orange shades. Fully struck and free of even the most trivial blemishes, it was sold for $24,000. Number 2, this is 1916D Mercury Dime with outstanding toning, graded as MS66FB by NGC, with star designation. A richly toned, sharply struck, and impressively lustrous gem, example of the most important dime issues of the 20th century, a day that saw a production run of just 264,000 pieces. Both sides of this colorful gem are splashed throughout with lively rose, fiery crimson, neon blue, and deep sunset orange iridescence. The pristine surfaces are essentially mark-free, even under low magnification. It was sold for $45,237.50.
Number one, and this is 1918 Lincoln set in number 68 wet condition. This virtually flawless example really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Silky smooth surfaces exhibit vivid mint color of beautiful pinkish red. The striking detail is razor sharp to full throughout the design, and eye appeal is extraordinary. While there is no denying that the 1918 is one of the more plentiful early date Lincoln scents. High quality mint state examples are scarcer than those of 1916 and 1919. Near the pinnacle of numismatic preservation and quality, this red ultra gem is one of the utmost condition rarity. It ended up selling for $55,200. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on fascinating world of numismatics. Have a good one.